how to set up recurring tasks on monday.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own recurring tasks on monday.com. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go onto your workspace and uh, you just have to create your account on monday.com. It's very simple. And what you're going to do is I'm just going to name this group called task and I will add a task over here so I can make this team meeting like this. And now this is not an automated feature on monday.com. So adding recurring tasks is not an automated feature. You're going to have to do this in a different manner. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do that. So don't worry. It's a very simple process. Even if it's not an uh, automated feature within Monday, it's a simple way to add your own recurring tasks. So once you have your task or your group or section created or whatever board you're on, you're just going to click on this plus icon and click on add column. And then you're going to add the statuses. Now on status one, which is going to be the second status that you add you're just going to rename this into recurring like this now once you add this as recurring you're going to click on edit labels and you're going to remove these excess labels you're going to add recurring like this and this is going to be another label that we're going to add so we're just going to make sure we have all our statuses and i'm going to add this as working on it so I've added these three basic labels and I'm going to change this label's color. So I'm going to click on add or edit label and I'm just going to change the color of this one like this. Now you can see I've added different labels to this section. How do you actually make this a recurring task? Well, it's a very simple and easy setup. First, I'm just going to remove all of the uh, dates on this and I'm just going to set this up to recurring or working on it. And I'm going to move these like this. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to click on workflow center on the top right over here and then you're going to click on start from scratch and now you're going to add your automation which will allow you to create this as a recurring task so first off when the status changes so when the status in recurring usually you only get one status column but you have the recurring status changes to uh working on it so whenever uh, the status changes to working on it then what you're going to do is that you're going to click on more options over here you're going to push the due date so whatever due date it is by some days so uh, you can add the due date to by 30 days or 40 days however long you want to have your recurring task so let's say i want to have my team meeting every 15 days so i can just set this to 15 days and now i can click on create automation and now you can see I have this task and I'm going to set this at recurring. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a due date. Maybe I'm going to add the 28th of April. And then once I change the status of this, yeah. So you can see as I change the status, it changed from 13th April to 13th May because I moved the status. Now uh, you can see over here that I'm going to click and edit the labels and I'm going to move the working on it label to the top and I'm going to remove the recurring label and just going to keep it at two labels with working on it or done. So whenever someone has begun to work on a task, the due date, which will basically be the time where the task will recur itself, will move itself by one month. So let's say I add another item. Uh, let's say I'm going to add this as setup team discord like this. And now well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the label and I'm going to move this as new so let's say this is a new task and if i add a due date like the 21st of april so you can see this is a new task but as soon as i change it to working on it you can see it changed from may because i set it up for 15 days so uh, instead of april the date that i had it changed to 6th may which is 15 days after so in this way you can set up recurring tasks and it basically gives you the ability to get recurring tasks on a platform that does not have their own integration you can also add more integrations like if you click on your workflow center and you just take a look at your workflow so whenever recurring task changes are working on and push date by 15 days now you can add more to this workflow just by clicking on it now you can click on update workflow and now we're going to edit this automation so we want to push the due date by 15 days or if you want to change the due date so let's say i want to push it by one month you can set this and then you can add it as whenever something is added as new i want to push it by one month and i can click on update workflow and then you can click on add new and then 
you're going to click on start from scratch so you can add another kind of automation where you can also get notifications so whenever the status changes and recurring to working on it uh, then you can also send an email whatever your email is you can type the email over here i'm just going to leave it at xyz because we're not actually sending out these emails but whatever reminder email you want to send your to yourself or to your team you're going to add that over here to all of my team members so what this basically will allow me to do is that if i'm holding a team meeting every 15 days and the due date is automatically going to be pushed so whenever the status will be changed the email for notifying all of my team members will be sent automatically by monday I don't even have to send the notification email. You can always automate all of these functions via monday.com's automation section. And that is why even though the direct automation for recurring tasks is not available, it is still a pretty simple and easy setup to set up your own automations on monday.com. Now, Although I love monday.com and I love setting up my tasks like this, I have figured out the solution for recurring tasks, but this comes at a price because you're not going to be able to do this on the free version of monday.com. This is only available on a premium version of monday.com. So if we click on C plans over here, the free version of monday.com does not allow you these kinds of integrations or automations nor does the basic version because on the basic version you do not get any kind of automation or integration so you're not going to be able to set up recurring tasks or any of the automations that i showed you guys and the way to set up recurring tasks is via automations on monday but if you upgrade to the ten dollar per seat per month version of monday which has 250 automations and integrations with timeline calendar and guest access as well you're going to be able to create these kinds of recurring tasks on monday.com now you can get a 14 day free trial with monday.com for their premium version and if you were ever looking to upgrade to a paid version of a project management software it is only two dollars more than their basic version and the other features are very very helpful in you know optimizing your workflow it is very simple if you have all of these features i would recommend that if you were ever going to use a paid project manager checking out monday.com is a great option because they do have a lot of stuff available they have a lot of detail and if you're very specific about details then monday.com is definitely the platform for you and you are now able to set up your own recurring tasks on monday.com uh, I hope you guys followed through step by step. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video